Hello, and welcome back to our X4 Foundations modded Let's Play Poorly. So, when last we were here, we'd gotten to the PHQ. Alright, do we need to worry about anything else right now? Yeah, Geometric Owl is here. We switched to Total Eclipse of the Heart, so what we gotta do is we gotta go get that chassis mod going. And because uh, we don't need the uh, we don't need the uh, the one that lets us go through the the green stuff in the void, so we're gonna go ahead and try to improve some things here. I poop deployables is done. What are you pooping? What, what's uh, what's what's your poop status? Uh, we could do some pooping over here down in Pluto. All right, let's let's see about dropping some stuff right here, maybe. Advance sat right there. Wart cloud, we could advance sat over this away. And then a survey unit. Alright, and then what do we got? Oh no, then we're gonna have to go back and, and uh and buy some stuff. So that's that uh, that's something we can worry about later. Alright, geometric owl is just gonna chill out. These other guys, collector manta ray, I think is just back, right? Just back in, in the spot. Oh, no. No. Okay. They've got stuff. But since the murder is out here, I think I think Collector's pretty safe. Yeah. Alright, so let's go uh, let's go get ourselves some updated mods in this guy. So let's go find ourselves a wharf. We need over here. Let's go to this Argon Wharf here. Autopilot engaged. So, uh, QWERTY, who does uh, a chunk of the mods that I use, and made some updates recently uh, for his August updates. And some th new things have been changed around. So actually, one thing I'm going to do is, going forward Enter after this episode is done, four. I'm going to go ahead and turn uh, auto camera back on, because apparently there's some new changes to it that make it uh, interesting and a, a little bit more um, cinematic than it was before. So I'm interested in trying that out. Uh, and then there's been some changes in here as well. So these are the extension options, and you can see there's a whole bunch that QWERTY put together. Uh, and we, I'm not going to necessarily go through them right now, but there are some things in here like the Attack AI tweaks, which lets you adjust how your uh, ships will attack and who they'll attack. The defaults are usually pretty good, but if you want to kind of tweak it, you're, you have the options here. For example, L and XL ships, do they avoid high-risk ships? Do they avoid high-risk stations? And so on. And then you, you can determine whether or not it just applies to your faction, your L and XLs, or does everybody have the same behavior? Uh, and you can turn that on and off. And then we've got other things here like NPC reactions, whether or not they have conversations with you, uh, video comms, turn them on and off and so on, a bunch of other things like that. Reputations and professions, you can set them to reset, save, or restore. This is important. If you if you disable the, the mod and then save the game, it will clear everything, and then when you, if you re-enable it, you've lost all the stuff. So you, you do want to save and then reload. Social standings, this can be used to determine whether or not you have these specific the specific milestones that I was dealing with, um, you know, that I have to kind of make specific uh, numbers of stations and so on, that can be adjusted all in here. But anyway, so uh, maybe at some point we'll Entering go through these in more detail, but uh, not today. Today we are uh, doing some modding and things like that, or ship modding, I should say.
Entering system. Silent witness. We got about 14.5 million. I think one of the things I needed to do was uh, apply, uh, put some traders on on the PHQ. Yeah, because we're, this is going to be tough, isn't it? No, actually, we're doing pretty well with just what we've got. Let me see here. Ooh, is anybody doing? Oh, I should probably put some money in there. Yeah. Oh, the one thing that we don't have access to is Nvidia at the moment. Uh, we're doing it again. Come on now. Uh, what, uh, what do I need for that? What do I need for that? Entering do system. I have... A tick choice. Do I have the storage for that? I think I do. Yeah, I've got solid storage. But I do need to stick a miner on here. Hmm... Well, maybe we'll worry about that later, right? Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're going to need Nvidia, and then no one's going to bring it. I mean, that paper will bring it. It's just that um, the NPC miners are a little bit slow on that shit, so. Do we system. buy a whole Bye. new miner and then put him on there? And then, Yeah, maybe we do. Maybe we do that. Your little mineral drill. These aren't the best guys, but you know they'll they'll do the job. Autopilot. We're gonna call Everybody you failed. HQ Miner. Oh, and apparently the uh, auto auto pillock failed. All right, well. Oh yeah. Docking granted. Yeah, that's my miner being built right there, I think. Successfully docked. All right, so we want to go to the ship dealership, but we do have the mods part trader if we need it. Again, I know I keep repeating myself, but that's a, a modded in from one of Qu QWERTY's mods. All right, workbench. What are my options? Okay, I don't have access to the high-end ones. I can do the medium ones, but no high-end ones at the moment. What am I going to need that I don't have? Exceptional ship nano weaves. Okay. All right, so that's what we're gonna we're gonna go grab. Exceptional exceptional stuff. I'm the mod parts trader. Oh, and here, here's an example of what I was talking about with the extension options. I'll, uh, I'll look at that right now. Mod parts trader. There we go. Can we sell to traders? I've turned it off. The sale value multiplier doesn't matter because we can't do that. Can we buy from traders? No, I've turned that off. These, I think one of these is defaulted to on, and I've, I've turned them off uh, because I don't want to be able to buy and sell because that is... I mean, it's not cheaty. You're 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 doing what you want to do, but it is it, it ends up being very dissatisfying for me. Uh, I prefer to be doing barter or trading back and forth with different there. types, so rather than buying and selling directly. Because you can see, we've got a whole shit ton of these things. I mean, right? I've got yeah, I've got a whole bunch of this stuff, right? Yeah, that's is this is all me. So I could go ahead and. Uh, and, and trade over some of these things. Now, I, what I need to do is get some ex exceptionals, right? Let's get all of the exceptionals that they have. That's 48 million. Oh, boy. All right, see, now, if I had those, like, let, let, me, let me show you. <laughs> if, I, uh, if I had the selling turned on, that's 36 million credits right there just from the tuning software which is bonkers. All 
All right, so 48.5 million is what I've got to figure out in trades. Oh, that's more than enough. Um, let's see, let me let me not lose all of these. Let's dump them in a little bit. Oh, that's a lot. What, the NVIDIA? No. Yeah, let's, let's do a little bit here. Let's dump that. Like, we're never gonna need this many of these. But just in case, all right, and then I don't want right, to, let's do that and then drop this down. Just got to, just got to get just enough over. Come on. There we go. 48, eight, we're going to lose a little bit in it, but it doesn't matter because we're still going to have a ridiculous number of things here. So I think, I think that'll do, right? Yeah. Let's complete that trade. And now we head back. to the ship trader, or ship dealership, I should say. Oh, you know what I want to do first, though? Uh, just because I'm here. Let's go to the trader's corner so I don't forget. See if there's anything we can make, sell, and so forth. No, nothing on the space fly caviar. We have a ridiculous number of all of these things. This is insane. Let's make, we'll make some more fine meals. Sure, let's make some more fine meals, or one more. Let's go and see what we can sell with you. Oh, you've got here. Show me your wares. Here you go. Maja Glit, nothing really. Okay, we actually don't. We've already we do already done it recently, so we don't really have anything that we want to sell. That's fine. Good luck out there. I love how you look very cozy in your sweater. All right, back to the dealership. Ta-da! Now we can make a whole bunch of these. Okay, so we can do the chassis mod that I want. Right now... Uh, oh, that's not what I want. I want this. I want my other guy. This guy. Yeah, because the other one's... Oh! Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Got to do this before I forget. PHQ Miner. Mine for Commander. Oh, and deployable pooper's done. So now we need to get. Now we need to go get. Uh, more stuff. We need some advanced sats. Let's get 10 of those. Survey units, let's just restock to 10. Let's grab some resource probes just in case. I think. I think we're good. All right, back to this. Yeah, the hazardous region damage reduction we don't need. So let's go over here. We got legal wear, concealment, radar visibility, mass mod. Mm, mass mod? What could I do here, though? Drag mod. This will increase my, or decrease my drag. And then there's a whole bunch of little options over here. Most of these aren't meaningful. I mean, the max hull, maybe. Uh, but I'm going to come up here and do the mass mod. That should affect our speed, I think. So let's dismantle you. And uh, install that. There we go. Excellent. Now for these guys... We should probably do some of that. Okay, but let's take a look what else we got. We have the Travel Thrust mod installed. I really like that. We don't really need more. We got the paints there. Uh, shield mods. We have the Capacity mod, which increases shield capacity. This one makes it go even higher. This one makes it go a little bit higher and gives us two more properties. Could be good or bad. Now, a lot of people will save scum this, but I ain't got time for that. So we're just going to dismantle you and we're going to roll the dice here. 
Oh, yeah, look at that. Not only a 10% improvement in the shield capacity, but our shield recharge delay has been dropped and the recharge rate has increased, which is really, really good. Okay, now let's go over these guys. We have we can do 13 mods here. We can only, obviously, one per unit, but that means we can do all four guns. So, I'm not super worried about projectile speed or surface element damage. Although, maybe... What does that do? Okay, so it's a higher damage capability than either of these, but only against surface elements. I think that's what I want. Maybe I'll put it on two of them? Oh, yeah, that's what I'll do. Um, so we have one, two, three, four. I will put it on the outer two. I'll put the invader mod on the outer two, and then maybe the um, obliterator on the middle two. Yes. All right. We're going to install you. Nice. We got some good stuff there. So that's outer one, and then outer two. Put the invader on that one. Not as good, but still pretty good. Now these middle two, I could do either Annihilator or Obliterator. Now let's take a look what the issue is here with between these two. So the Annihilator will give me either between 6 and 35, and this is between 10 and 30. So it's offset by 4, and you know, just my luck it'll end up on the low side, so I'm going to go with this one. Nice. All right. And then on this guy, same thing. Yeah, see? Look at that. That's shit. Oh, but these are higher. Sticky projectile time reduction speed. Mm. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's... I... I... I don't think... I don't think I want that. I think I'm going to dismantle that and try again. Oh, God. Well, that's some bullshit. Do we do one more time? Yeah, we do one more time, and then we're done. Oh, you... No, I lied. We're not doing it one more... We're doing it one more one more time. That's better. Okay, we'll live with that. That's not 100% great, but... We'll live with it. Yeah, that was my luck. Alright, we've got everything we want on all of these guys now. Excellent. Get back to the ship. Okay, now Geometric Owl is not super awesome, right? Not not the not the nastiest ombre in the in the in the corral. So I mean it's got good stuff, but uh, can we do better? Let's see about upgrading over the Talati. Bolt repeaters. I mean, <sighs> you know I love me some bolt repeaters. Mmm. But I also am very well aware that bold repeaters are not the best. What about these free families? Can I? No, I cannot. I am not allowed. Not over there. Okay, what about the Paranid? No, stop that. Paranid time. Pulse lasers, and it actually saves me money. That I'm very suspicious of that. Wow. It really just swaps these out, these pulse lasers. I get a little bit more weapon da damage here. Not as good maneuverability, ultimately. Hmm. Oh, that's a tough one. I mean, I can afford it. That's, that's not the problem. The problem is, what am I missing? 
because I am not, you know, I'm not a min-maxer, and so I don't think in those terms. And this one is going to cost, what a bloody blazes. It's going to cost me nearly 7 million to do this. Oh, but Jesus, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's the Iron Blaster, that's why. That sucker is slow. If we do a medium at Pulse Laser, and yeah, and then see, that gets us the same kind of thing. I mean, everything is slower. Travel speed is still pretty freaking high. But if we do this, we get our Pulse Lasers at Mark II, and they're about the same as the high-end Paranin. Alright, let's try one more thing. All of you Minimaxers out there, I love you, but if you're screaming in, in, in pain right now, uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, if we go to medium here, we, okay, that's about the same. Pulse Laser Mark II is about the same here. Yeah, 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 all right. So Argon is probably going to be fine, right? I kind of wonder, though, this is uh, this is bugging me. It's okay, so here we, we keep most of our speed and everything. So we don't lose the half mil, or we don't regain the half mil. I think largely because of this the speed. That's the high pre wow, you paranid aren't doing so hot in terms of small ship weapons, right? Do I have any other options? What if Well let's take a look at the Antigone. I mean then they don't have um they're very similar. But let's see about price. Okay, they're maxing out at that. Because they have the bolt repeaters, they don't have the ions. But you know what? That, hmm. I could be happy with that. Alright, let's put a pin in that for a second while we come back over here. Do the Sagaris Pioneers want to give us something? 900, oh no, these are not, not as good. Oh, the shields are better. The weapon output is about the same. All right, so it's gonna be between the Antigone and the Argon. But not the high preset because holy moly. Oh wow, the price is, yeah, changed a little bit. There we go, okay, so yeah, that price, 6.5, oof. But if I do this, 627, 573, but we lose a bunch here. This is higher, we lose a teeny bit here, but it costs us money rather than saving us money. Um, and, and you know, the thing is, we've got the beam and the burst, I think they have different impacts on shields versus, uh, Shields versus hull. But it's gonna I mean, but it's the bolt repeaters. I can't I can't say no to the bolt repeater. Yes I can. Yes I can. I can say no to that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna do the Argon. I'm gonna make bad choices. Go to the pulse lasers. We would like to remind all visitors to visit our special sales area close to the See how she does over there. All right, deployable pooper. What do we got? Got anything over here we can do? We've done you. We've done you. Done you. We need to go to Uranus, and I guess we'll just drop one right here. Come over to Saturn. We haven't explored these two spots yet. Let's go to Jupiter. And then the asteroid belt. I don't think we're allowed past this point, right? Technically. I mean, we sort of are because uh, all of our explorers have already been out there. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just leave it for now right there like that. Okay. 
what else are we going to do now? We, we got just about five more minutes in the episode because I've been tootling around on all this stuff. We can deploy some mines. Where do they have to go? I don't know. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab some mines. Eclipse, Vanguard. Captain. Grab ten mines just to have them. Don't have to repair it. Oh, I do have to repair a little bit. We're just going right there. Oh, Entering oh, that'll be easy. Choice. to get two pilots, but I can worry about that later because we've got baddies. Wow, look at that. What's going on down there? done. Nothing else out here? Guess not. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. So, let me uh, let me take a look at... Nope. I'm going to put Geometric... Once Geometric Owl is done with that, I guess I'll stick him in Total Eclipse of the Heart as a, as a wingman, I think. Yeah. All right. Collect a manta ray. Are you, are you ready? 500 and... F Jesus. Yes, you are. Let's go deposit. Don't want to lose that. Now, how are we doing on money? We got 11 million. I think we just picked up some money from some of these uh, depositing into our accounts. And how's the rest of this going? Still don't have the Nvidium, but the PHQ miner is bringing some stuff in, so that's gonna work out for us. Do we want more drones, more cargo drones, defense drones? You know what? We probably do. Well, let's get ten defense drones here, and we don't need repair drones really. Let's uh, cargo. Let's get ten and ten. There we go. And we'll just set that estimate. It's not very much more. We just need to get these bits. Now the ore, why do we have ore? We got a tiny amount of ore. Um, well, we'll just hang on to it. Yeah, and I think that's gonna do it for right now. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. See you next time.